Last year, the Department of Natural Resources declared feral swine an invasive species, and the pigs here at Mahog Farm have been lumped into the same category simply because of the way they look. Brenda Turnin at Mahog Farm, together with her husband, have bred a special variety of pigs that are hearty, hairy, and tasty. Because of the unique features of the pigs, they can withstand the harsh winters experienced here in the UP. But the Michigan Department of Natural Resources has been battling feral swine loose in the wild and have declared them to be an invasive species. The pigs at Mahog Farm look similar to feral swine, but that's where the similarity ends. The DNR has contacted my husband and said that um, the breed of pig that we now have is considered an invasive species. Um, there's an invasive species order out that claims that we're not allowed to, to raise this particular breed of pig, even though we do raise them behind fences in a domestic hog production. Turnin has filed a federal lawsuit against the DNR and the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. As a member of the Keweenaw Bay Indian community, Turnin says her right to farm is protected under the Treaty of 1842. I intend to continue farming because it's my right. It's my guaranteed right to farm as a tribal member under the 1842 treaty. For ABC 10 CW5 News Now, I'm Keweenaw Bureau reporter Rick Allen.